This is Dr. Elliot Realstein, and I have a PhD in medicine, psychology, and most importantly, a PhD in straight. Now, Kellen, like most people I have noticed recently, suffer from what is called in layman's terms, Donald Trump derangement syndrome, or as I have medically labeled this illness, Trump stuck up my acidus. This is very rampant in our society right now and is a growing problem. The people who suffer from this mental illness can be categorized into three levels of severity, minor, mild, and severe. Now before I delve into this disease, it must be noted that this affliction does not come without precedence. Many have witnessed this disease firsthand in microscopic form with individuals they know who are supporters of sports teams who take the games their favorite teams play in a little too seriously. No! 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 Estamos en la B! Estamos en la B! No! 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 Fortunately, this activity is fleeting and confined to the moment. And these individuals typically move on from this activity within the day or week of the game and reshift their focus onto something new. However, this illness began to take on more severe forms. In the early 2000s, there was a great deal of what I called Bush stuck up my acidus. And I want to warn the country about a man I saw last night on TV. He's six feet tall, Caucasian, and he goes by the title President of the United States. Every time we talk about subpoenaing the vice president, the former vice president, he gets to come in and sit with George W. Bush as if they're, you know, the Menendez brothers or something. In the late 2000s, we were faced with many suffering from Palin stuck up my acidus. And since her return to Alaska on Friday, she's given interviews to the local NBC station, assembled state capital reporters, a CNN correspondent, Greta Van Susteren, Matt Lauer, Wolf Blitzer, and Larry King. And each was an exclusive. Oh my God, it's Sarah Palin. And in the early 2010s, we saw a great deal of people afflicted with Barack stuck up my acidus. He's becoming Barack Kardashian. I tell you, that's what's becoming. He is becoming the male Kim Kardashian with this stuff, and it's been building. He is celebrity of the United States. He is not the president. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill going up my leg. Now we're talking about a president who was so out of touch with reality that I fear he may be a madman. I fear he may be a madman. I think his hubris has gotten so great that he may be a madman. Then I listened to Obama's speech an hour late. An hour late, he bops onto the stage like Mr. Cool. Fortunately, those sufferers overcame these illnesses naturally, and we do not have many people now who continue to suffer from these ailments. They were able to overcome these problems because the obsession level was high, but not critically high. And also, the 24-hour news, sports, and entertainment cycles during those times provided avenues to those people to get their minds away from these triggers. However, in the current climate, there is no escape avenues for the people suffering from this illness today to get the much-needed respite they require. This has caused this issue to go out of control and the obsession to reach critical mass. If we don't do anything to encumber its growth, I'm afraid Trump stuck up my acidus could envelop the whole world. Stage one is what I call minor Trump stuck up my acidus. People who suffer from stage one are typically those who are inundated with articles and videos and commentary pieces about Donald Trump on their social media feeds, YouTube's video suggestions, and television programs, but only indulge into this realm on occasion. These are the types of people who read one or two articles or watch a special about the day's news or like a photo which pertains to Donald Trump on a daily occurrence. In my estimation, this is a bit too much focus on a singular topic and is, obs is, is slightly obsessive behavior, but it is not problematic in the long run as this behavior will typically cease in time. My diagnosis for those who are suffering from stage one Trump stuck up my acidus is to be cognizant of the fact that you are a minor sufferer of this disease and in turn should very carefully monitor your intake of substances which are related to Donald Trump. 
If this intake is not carefully monitored, then those who are negligent in this may find themselves unable to halt the proliferation of this disease from mounting in which they may graduate to stage 2 or even stage 3 of this illness. Stage 2 of Trump stuck up myositis is what I refer to as the mild stage of this disease. And this is where action must be taken in order to remedy the burden this illness places on those people affected by it. People who fall into this category are the types who have careers and other hobbies besides tracking Donald Trump, but these are ultimately of secondary or tertiary importance to these people. They are the types of people who spend the preponderance of their free time thinking and talking about Donald Trump. And they are not so secretive about this behavior as they have social media accounts which focus mainly on Mr. Trump and things concerning his life and job. Uh, most of their leisure time is spent reading articles about Donald Trump, watching videos about him, commenting on articles and videos about Donald Trump, sharing articles, videos, and memes about Donald Trump with friends and strangers on social media, liking articles, videos, and memes about Donald Trump shared with them by friends and strangers on social media. Uh, this is borderline self-destructive and masochistic behavior, and anyone who falls into this category should recognize this illness within themselves and immediately take action on remedying themselves of this terrible burden. Because with stage 2 Trump stuck up myositis, you may be in a horrible situation in which the pain you inflict upon yourself is significant, but there is hope for you to turn it around and once again, at some point in the future, live a full and meaningful life. If you suffer from stage 2 Trump stuck up myositis, my diagnosis is you should actively step back from your obsession and use distractionary measures to pull yourself away from the triggers that ignite your disease. I suggest, instead of thinking and talking about Donald Trump all day long, to take a walk outside. Getting some fresh air, enjoying the outdoors, and spending some quality time getting out and getting exercise in our short lives can be a very fulfilling and emancipatory experience. If walking is not your thing, well, that's okay. Maybe a bike ride or rollerblading is more in line with your preferences. As long as you get yourself out of the house and away from your computer and television screen, the better it will be for your mental health. And for those who suffer from extreme cases of stage 2 Trump stuck up myositis and maybe getting out of the house is not sufficient enough, I suggest purchasing a dog and nurturing it or if you already have a dog, spending more time with the dog you already own. Dogs are not only great pets, but they require care, instruction, discipline, and exercise. If you focus the energy you delegate to seeking out videos and articles dedicated to Donald Trump on exercising and teaching a dog tricks, you will find the reward for the latter behavior as much more gratifying and self-fulfilling. For you see, the pleasure you garner from reading anti-Donald Trump articles all day long, which placate your abhorrence towards the man, are ultimately fleeting and unfulfilling, and create a cycle in which you are similar to a drug addict, constantly chasing a greater and greater hatred high. Whereas with a pet, there is tangible progress and rewards, there is reciprocity, and most importantly, there is a real connection. If you fall into the extremist area of stage 2 Trump stuck up myositis, it may feel like all is lost, but trust me, it is not irreparable. I believe placing your energy into a more productive outlet like a pet can cure you of your affliction. Finally, we come to the most extreme end of Trump stuck up myositis, and that is stage 3, the severe stage. Stage 3 people look like they live normal lives and seemingly have hobbies and careers, but their thoughts and their psyche are consumed with thoughts solely of Donald Trump. They want to speak only about Donald Trump so much that any other form of conversation or expression is extremely burdensome to them. This impulse is so strong that these people will voluntarily speak about Donald Trump even when it does not pertain to the subject of the conversation at hand, or when a question about Donald Trump was not asked of them. 
It was a very weird night for many reasons, which I don't think any of us can, you know, grab onto. It's like trying to figure out the presidency. Same, same. Obsess much? These people have such an extreme obsession that they see figments of Russia and Vladimir Putin around every turn. Russia. E Russian. With Russia. Of Russia. With Russia and the Russia. With Russia. The Russians. At Russia. Of Putin. To Vladimir Putin. The Russia. To Russia. To Russia. The Russians. With the Russians. The Russia. The Russians. To Russia. Russia. And Putin. To Vladimir Putin. By Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. They have social media accounts littered with issues which concern only Donald Trump, and to them, the actions and words of Donald Trump are more important than their own, their own families, or anyone else in the entire world. I have worked with many of these people, and they are beyond repair, unfortunately. I have had intense sessions attempting to get these people to think about something other than Donald Trump or commence in activities besides tracking every word or action of his, and they just can't pull themselves away. I have also put forth legitimate evidence that the Russian government and Vladimir Putin have not infiltrated their personal lives, yet they still refuse to believe it and see Russia and Russians in every crevice of their lives. This whole dang island's under attack by Russians. The Russians have captured the airport. Yeah. As a medical expert, I have utilized all options available, and I am sad to report that the people who are in stage 3 are beyond repair. Their souls and life force has been wholly captured by this disease. Your soul is mine. All we can really do for these people is pity them and accept their illness as incurable and tolerate it as best we can, no matter how eye-gougingly irritating that will be. Or we can tell these people to stop living their lives through someone who is not them and does not know them and who they will never ever see or speak to.